Scratching the paintwork on your bike can be super annoying and while sometimes it is unavoidable, there are a few very simple little tricks that you can do to help keep the paint on your bike looking fresh and protect it from any scratches or scuffs in the future. So coming up are GCN's top tips. First things first, why are you getting scratches and scuffs on your bike? Well, scratches come from rough objects that come into contact with your bike, be that just once, or maybe they will be continuously rubbing on your bike. It could be something like small stones or gravel that get flicked up from your tires. It could be a saddlebag or frame bags that are rubbing up against unprotected paint on your bike, or it could even be your shoes or your heel rubbing against your crank. Or the worst hidden offender of them all, you. You think you're doing a good thing by washing your bike, but that sponge or that brush might have some hidden grit in it. And you know, you're washing it against all the soapy water and then you, oh yeah, that's nice and clean. And you go and you rub it up all against your bike and it scratches. It's not good. What happens is when that abrasive item comes into contact with the paintwork on your bike or the surface is that it creates kind of grooves into the top layer of paint and it can create a very hazy scratched effect, which is not the effect that we are going for here. And Hank kindly demonstrated this when he rode the old chalkway. And if you are triggered by expensive bikes being scuffed and scratched, maybe look away now. Now the easiest way to protect your bike is through clear protective tape or wrap and you will need some scissors. I'm using the Park Tool SZR1 scissors, other scissors are available and you're going to need to clean thoroughly wherever you're going to put the tape. So you could use some alcohol, get a nice clean cloth and wipe it down, make sure there is no speck of dirt, but there are also companies that specialize in making wraps specifically shaped for some bikes. So you could look at that as an option, but it will cost a little bit more. You're probably looking at around 150 pounds, euros of dollars. It will oft offer greater protection, but it is gonna take quite a bit more skill to get on rather than just a little bit of this. Um, and you're probably looking at around 30 pounds, euros of dollars for a roller tape, which you could pop in quite a few different places on your bike. When it comes to cleaning your bike, a lot of us are accidentally scratching our bikes through very poor washing method. And I know it sounds crazy, but it is true. And Ollie has gone into great detail about this in a number of cleaning videos he has done. And the trick is to wash off any dirt or loose dirt off the bike before you go in with a cloth. And you wanna use a nice soft mitt or a cloth when you are washing your bike because we need to take care of our pride and joy. And what you don't want to do as well is use that nice soft cloth and you know wash the tires or wheels and then take it onto the frame, onto the nice paint. Something else worth mentioning here is ceramic coating. While it's not gonna resist any stones or scratches or anything rubbing up against your frame, it will help with the protection in the cleaning phase. Now users of tubeless tires will have a little bit of extra stress and an issue to deal with too because anybody who has had a puncture and had a puncture with the sealant go on the frame or anywhere on the bike, in fact, will know how hard it is to get that sealant off once it has dried. And it is even harder to get it off if you've left it for some time. And I actually had this problem probably about a month ago when I must have had a slow puncture. My bike was hanging up by the wheel and the sealant just ran and leaked all over the frame. And I think even now, a month later, I still haven't got it all off, but it is so hard to get it off without scratching the frame. So I find it's best to use a specialist cleaner and some water to get this off to help soften the sealant, makes it a little bit easier to get it off, but it is a very slow process. So just take your time and try, really try and avoid getting any scratches on the bike. But another thing I would say is if you did have some protective tape on part of your frame where the sealant has gone, Simply just take the tape off and reapply it. It'll take two minutes and I guess that's what it's there for. And it is pretty easy to take on and off. So if you wanna know where to put the tape, just to give you some inspiration, I have some tape just below my chain here on the chain stay. 
uh, just in case my chain drops and scratches the paint because I do not want to chip this paint. Um, also, if you are a rider that rides with your foot inwards a little bit and your cycling shoe is rubbing against your crank, you can put some there. You could also put some on the down tube because that is where all the stones are gonna bounce up from your tires. And also definitely if you are adding bags onto your bike, 100% put a bit of tape wherever you're putting the bags as well. But if it is a little bit too late and you already have a scratch on your bike, we've got you covered. We've got a detailed video on that. So go and check that out if it is a little bit too late. But otherwise, hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any other suggestions on how to protect your bike from scratches, just leave them in the comment section below.